Top of the day to you. My name's Travis. A couple years back I made a video on uh, jack storage and jack tools for a 2018 GMC Sierra half ton crew cab. Uh, so I just wanted to redo that video, kind of go over the tools a little bit better and how to use them as well as most important storing them. It's March 14th today. What better day to do a jack storage video than on a nice warm spring like day. The main purpose for this video is Back in 2018 when we bought this truck brand new, we ended up getting a flat tire and uh, the, ma the manual for the truck does not say how to put it back. A lot of people can figure out how to take the jack out, but putting it back with the wheel chocks, it's a little bit more complicated than you, than you might think. Um, so I just wanted to do this because I mean, I used to work at a tire shop so I, I didn't find it too difficult but I figured other people could benefit from the videos. So taking out your jack tools is actually pretty easy and it shows you in your manual as well how to take the jack tools out. When you're in panic mode on the side of the road, you most often don't take a visual picture of what the jack tools look like underneath the seat. So when it comes time to putting them back under where they belong and, and fastening them down properly, most often you will forget and uh, they'll just end up kind of bouncing around in the back seat of your truck. So. That's the purpose of this video. I just wanted to show you how to put it back in there and uh, it's not that complicated. It's a, it takes five, 10 minutes. Page 400 of the manual tells you how to take your tools out. There's a very good chance you're watching this video and you're only wanting to know how to put the jack tools away because you've probably already changed your flat tire. So this is probably what you're looking at right now. You've got your jack, you've got this hook and wing nut and you've got two sets of wheel chocks and yes these are wheel chocks wheel chocks will go underneath a tire that you're not changing on the vehicle and that'll hold your vehicle or essentially stabilize your vehicle from rolling when you're while you're changing it so it doesn't roll off the jack or whatever it may be right so I'll quickly show you how to use those alright so there's your wheel chocks And this tire is not being changed, we're going to change another one. Wheel chocks just slip underneath the front and the back of the tire that you're not changing. First step that you want to do is you want to get your jack prepped. You want to prep it before you put it underneath the back seat. So in order to do that, you take your jack, it's going to be laying on its side like this underneath. Essentially it'll be spun like that afterwards, but for the sake of the video, this is how it's going to be. Take your wheel chocks set them like so on the top the open end of the hook should be facing the back like that take your plastic wing nut spin it on there snug it up pretty easy right next step just to save you some time instead of fiddling with it underneath the seat, you want to have it extended about an inch, inch and a half in height. Now on the bottom of this jack, there's a bunch of holes. These little holes here. These two holes are going to line up with two little prongs underneath the seat. And then it'll kind of, it'll sit into those, the holes will sit into those prongs and it'll kind of be on a teeter-totter motion like that. And you'll want this to lock into the metal plate on the other side. I'll take the camera down and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, you're underneath the seat with me here on the passenger side where the jack is stored. There's a prong right here and a prong right here. And that's what those two holes on the jack is gonna, are going to sit into. They're just going to slide on top. And once they're in there, then it'll kind of rock on the teeter-totter. And the bottleneck side will sit right into this groove, arch right there. Okay, the jack is sitting on those prongs. It's just got a little bit of play, but not much. Now that you got that step, that's probably the hardest part. Crank this dial. Crank the dial and extend the jack out. Now 
That's how she should sit and look. Jack tools, there's a tire iron, some uh, extension rods and stuff like that. Just put them in any of the, the pouch slots. There's no real science to it. Uh, this is actually probably the easiest part for putting the tools away. So on, you're on the driver's side. I'd have it so that the, the L-shaped piece is facing the back of the truck. Slide that on. Kind of just clips on there nicely. Fit that over top. There you have it. Takes a while, little while to spin that wing nut on there, but once you get it, it's snug and it ain't moving. It's as simple as that, really. It's not too bad, but it, there is definitely a frustration when you're on the side of the road kind of panicking to get your tools put away and they're bouncing around. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. And uh, if you if you liked the video, consider giving it a thumbs up and give me a shoot me a comment as to how how you made out with it after watching the video. And we'll see you next time.